We are going to talk about how to navigate a course and to inform you that uh, your courses that you've registered for that uh, trimester will appear on your dashboard. This is the dashboard having these uh, containers, these boxes. You see here having the courses that you have registered for that trimester. The procedure is normally you select courses on your student portal, portal two. Then the uh, approved ones that is done, we migrate uh, those courses to the learning management system. And you're able to see your courses here. If your dashboard is blank, that uh, means you need to confirm that your courses that you registered for that trimester are approved on your student portal. If not, you can seek uh, assistance on that so that you can have all your courses in moved to the classroom. Our demo course is a student training course. We are going to navigate through that and uh, see the tools and understand them, what each and every tool does and helps in our learning. We have the home page under that course. Here you find the lecturer's information, the name of that lecturer, the contacts, can be the cell phone number, the email, and also the consultation hours. The note there welcoming you to the course. We have buttons uh, down here for the syllabus and also for the modules, assisting you to navigate uh, to the content, the course materials, especially this uh, module tool. But before then, I want us to go through the other tools that are found in that course that are very useful, like the announcement, communication information, that the lecturer wants to pass uh, across to you, the student, can be about uh, postponement of a class, an online card, announcing the dates when that will be done, a link, the class, an online class, and to navigate through the announcement that uh, we are finding here, there's an announcement about postponement of class, and uh, the lecturer is telling you to note that uh, we are not going to have our class tomorrow due to unavoidable circumstances. We shall plan for a makeup class later, then requiring you to go through module five of your notes. So they go through the activity given as well. You do it and uh, present in the next class in the next week. As a student, you can post your replies here. You understood the message. Now you want to confirm, say something about that. Information that the letter has put across to you. And you post your reply by clicking on that button. Any other student can send their responses regarding that communication through this text area here. We have uh, modules, then we have assignments, quizzes, and discussion. Those three tools, the announcement, quiz, and discussions, these tools, we are going to do a separate tutorial about them because I need to show you how to do your assignments, to do your cuts, the difference between their cut and their assignments, and also tackle about discussions, group or individual, and how to submit your course assessment files, container, that uh, a storage that contains all the files that are uploaded by the lecturer. And can also be you, the student, you submitted the assignment, you submitted the card. It is told in this uh, tool. 
can see all the files that are uploaded in this uh, course. They are all stored here. Then we have uh, the grades. Once you submit your assessment, the card, the, the assignment, the lecturer grades it, gives you the score, then submits that score for your view under the grading tool. And you're able to see what you scored in that specific cut, in that specific assignment. Those are cut grades, not exam grades. Please take note of that. Then we have the conferencing tool having the link or links to the class. If that is uh, provided for you, for you to click on the link and to join any class that is announced. If that link is not found under announcement or under module tool, and check it under the conferencing tool. Then people is also a tool that enables you to know who the teacher is. Let's say in this case, the lecturer didn't post uh, his uh, contact details under home. You're able to view them and uh, the people filter the teacher and be able to see who the teacher is. Then you're also able to see your classmates, your peers who are taking the same course as you. Then we, I want us to go back to our module tool where we need to navigate through the course material the notes, any activity that uh, is required of us to attend to. And our modules are arranged in two weeks in letter form up to the last week of the course, the trimester. Can be week 12, can be week 14, week 10, based on the program that you're doing. But our semester takes 12 weeks. And to begin with, you need to go through the items that are listed here. You ensure you read everything carefully under this uh, module, the first one that uh, indicates start here. Before you get to week zero, week one, I will tell you what all those modules contain. In the first week, if you don't fill in the academic agreement, you will find you cannot move to week zero, you cannot move to week one. You're not able to download any or to open any notes. So you need to click on this academic integrity, fill it in. You need to fill it in and submit. This one. Then you click on the submit button. Uh, it's about the academic integrity. You reach through the terms, the requirements, the policy, then you click on the submit button down here. Once you do that, you're able to go to the next sub button where it takes you to the guidelines and etiquettes. You are navigating through the first module that is uh, start here so that you may be able to open the other modules, week zero. Go through everything in that uh, week so that you can be able to get to the first module. 
That is week zero. We are now on week zero. You can see the course uh, textbooks. The lecturer has put them there. The course materials, online journals. And the first, uh, the, there's week zero, which is our first uh, week, where it's uh, normally the week of registration, where you're supposed to fill in the class uh, register. There are class registers in that week. And there are links taking you to the register itself, where you're required to fill it. This is normally enabled by the lecturer, every time you're having a class. So you're required to go back to the system after having a physical class you've attended, a face-to-face -face class, you're required to go to the system and fill in this class. It's a monitoring class, attendance monitoring tool that is embedded in the system. You're required to fill this. And to mention the DLM student is not uh, a requirement for you. You're not supposed to fill in a class register since you don't uh, attend a physical class. Not unless you're having tutorials online and you're required to fill the class register, please do that. For the full-time students and part-time uh, students, it's a requirement for you to fill the register every time you're having a class. If you click on it, I'm going to click on uh, the one for Nairobi campus. All of them are very active. You can fill it in. Then it takes you to the class monitoring system where if you are logging to your chemo student email, it will just pick your Details automatically. Not staff, I need the, the student portal. You can see uh, it's uh, bringing this uh, due to admin rights. Then the username which picks automatically. Then there's a call you need to write here. It sends to your general student email. Then you sign in the register. You can sign. And it, you, you click on submit and it submits that uh, register, meaning you filled the register correctly. Back to the modules. From the class register, now you're in to the content materials for that uh, course, starting from week one. And you have a course outline for that uh, course, the content, the purpose of that course, expected outcome for that course, the delivery mode for that course, the materials, the reading materials that I expected for you to use, and also outlining the course assessment, if it is undergraduate, different from how the postgraduate are assessed. It is normally 30, 70, where the cut is uh, totaling to 30%, then 70% for the exam, that is for the undergraduate, totaling to 100%. Then for the postgraduate, it is normally 40-60, as indicated here. The course material that you need to read, other reading, recommended references, they are also outlined there. This um, uh, button down here enables you to navigate to the next module or a file or an item under the same, same module. You are still on module one week one module. And this is a file that is uh, posted, uploaded by the teacher, lecture one. You can see it's a PowerPoint presentation. You need to have the necessary applications for your study. 
installed in your computer, especially the office suit, Word, Excel, database, PowerPoint, sixty five, Adobe Reader, you're given a PDF file. Windra for the zipped folders that you need to run zip and extract all the files that contain in that folder. Then media players can be VLC or any other. You will given a media. The lecturer has posted the media file that you need to play. It can be a video, can be audio. You have the necessary tools to play that file. Once you click on it, it downloads down here. Then you are able to save it you have, uh, on your gadget. You are able to print it out for your reading and save it. Then move to the next button where we have a video to play embedded in the same, same platform. You click on it and it plays here. Then you listen to it, you watch it, you listen. Then you are able to move. You are able to move to the next module. It does not take you to the uh, off the system, like taking you to YouTube. No, it's embedded in the system. Then you move to the next button. You have uh, activities to do. Then you get to week two. There are objectives there for that specific week. What is required of you to do, where to read, where to get uh, resources. And then we have lecture two. We have a file there, PowerPoint presentation as well. Moving to lecture three. And in our lecture three, I want us to look at uh, straight to a case study that is embedded in the system. Once you click on it, it opens, takes us to another tab. The letter requires us to do that uh, case study, read it, understand and be able to tackle the questions thereafter. Uh, it has opened a million little pieces is our case study. You go through it, understand, then answer the questions provided. move to the next model, that is week four. So here you go through all these modules up to the last week, and that is week, week 12. Or week 14, as I say, based on the course that you are doing. Thank you.